to you by HealingMorangaTree.com. Today we're going to talk about cuttings, uh, taking cuttings from the Moringa Olipiera. Here we have about a five foot Moringa Olipiera tree which is in a uh, 15 gallon, it's in a 15 gallon pot. This is from actually last summer. It was in the ground at one time and we transplanted it into the 15 gallon pot. So here we have, we are going to take about four cuttings from this tree and we are going to transplant them into five gallon pots with prepared soil and we are going to come back and show you guys basically how long it uh, took for them to actually catch and start sprouting out new leaves. Uh, the great thing about cuttings is you have a mature tree right away. You don't have to wait to go through the seeds uh, for the pretty much a whole year um, for the, the tree to mature you pretty much have a mature tree right away and if the mother tree is already flowering then the cutting will begin flowering right away um, I hear that the cuttings actually are a lot stronger or not a lot stronger but they live longer than uh, some of the trees from seeds I, I can't really say if that's true or not but um, one benefit of a cutting is that you have a mature tree. You don't have to wait for the, uh, the process to, for the tree to basically become true, mature, which can take a little while. This tree is about an inch thick. So we're going to go ahead and cut, cut it. And we're going to come back and show you guys the cuttings. Alrighty, here we have the Moringa Olipiera that was just cut, which is about, as I said, five foot tall. We're going to strip the leaves off, um, and then um, we're going to cut these. We're going to cut them in about four pieces. And when you make your cutting, you want to always cut in a diagonal. Um, that kind of helps the cutting stay protected from any um, bacteria that might build up on it. Um, so that's a, another idea. Another point that you can keep in mind when you do the cuttings, always cut them in a diagonal way. Okay guys, here are the cuttings from the five foot Moringa tree. And we got about, actually five cuttings uh, that are about, some are about a 12 inches, some are 11. I think maybe two might be like nine. Um, but here we are, we have the cuttings here, and as you see, they're pretty much cut at an angle. Um, here are the leaves, we stripped off the leaves. I'm going to be steaming those a little later. So next we're going to show you guys, we're going to put them in five gallon pots uh, with, the, with soil prepared. And we're going to show you guys what's coming up next. All right. Also, here is the uh, mother tree that we took the cuttings from and it's about looks like about nine inches left on it and we're going to see how long it takes for that to start blooming again coming back with new leaves and all right so here we have the five cuttings and we have put them into five gallon pots with the um, prepared soil we also dip the uh, the ends in the root stimulator or organic root stimulator so we're going to um, let's let them sit aside we're going to water it and then we're going to just let them sit and we'll come back with a new video seeing how long they take.